she's in the space. Now you're, oh, it's the strangers, the strangers here. Never before, you've been excited to see strangers, have you? Never before, but now the strangers. I'm on the tube going, hello, stranger, have a great day. It's nice to see you again. I'll see you in a few months. I'm from Manchester, otherwise now known as Sector 5. Uh, lockdown. <laughs> Close the pubs immediately. They don't trust them. They're like flies on shit. Close the pubs. Don't trust them. It's nice to be here. I use lockdown to uh, to change it up. You all look lovely, by the way. You all look fantastic. I decided during lockdown, gonna change it up. Gonna mix it up. It's not working, Lou. It's not working. Went online, bought new clothes, new threads. <laughs> I realized it, it don't really matter what I do. I can buy new clothes and. Still gonna look like a rodent that's been given coke. <laughs> hurts every time you laugh, fella. <laughs> like a rodent that's been given coke and an ASOS gift card. Go on, do whatever you want! We've got another fairy looking one for the Footboy Factory! Get him out! <laughs> No, it's nice to be here. Uh, so I'm from Manchester, specifically from, I'm from a place called Moss Side in South Manchester, if you've ever heard of it. Uh, describe it in one word. Shithole. That's what it is. It's a shithole. It's, it's one of those regional places, one of those regional places where everyone wears a tracksuit, no one's an athlete. <laughs> that's a vibe, you know, the only people you see running are young men from responsibilities, all right? That's the vibe. <laughs> One of those regional places. If anyone else is from a regional place, you'll know this. It's a place where people don't trust the government, but they will buy meat from a van. <laughs> no questions asked. Every Thursday. Hey, Mickey the Meat Man's here, Mum. Mickey the Meat Man's here. We're going to the market. Bring your mask. Fuck knows what's down there. We'll need our masks. And we're buying unlicensed meat from a van. Come on, let's be safe. They go down to the market. And every Thursday, between Asda and Matalan, a transit van just appears on the horizon and it just screeches into the car park. It's got no license plate. It's made up of three different colors of panels and then what could only be described as a mentally ill man bursts out of the back of the van going, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We've got 13 pounds of sirloin. 13 pounds of sirloin. It's 60 pence per pound. Kathleen, bring the meat. <laughs> Why did I make him Irish? Because he was, all right? <laughs> Because he was. Some things don't change. <laughs> In fact, very Irish city, Manchester. My dad's Irish. I'm ineligible for a passport, which could be useful in a couple of days. <laughs> and I've got family history that they were both in the IRA and the Black and Tans. Christmas is fun, do you know what I mean? I'm not going to miss it this year. <laughs> Bit of fun. I, I always wanted to be from somewhere exotic, though. Like Oldham or Stockport, you know what I mean? <laughs> Somewhere with a swimming pool that goes on the outside, you know, the car park, the outside. <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> ended up, uh, I ended up going and studying English, went to America, studied English. <laughs> <laughs> Failed me. I had to do an extra year in my own language. Let's think about that for a second. An extra year in my own language. I don't miss Manchester. <laughs> I don't miss it. Everyone up there calls each other our kid. It's mental. What? Yeah, I like our kid. Yeah, I like our kid. Well, fucking hell, our kid. What are you doing, our kid? Do you know why they call each other that? It's because when you're walking down the street in Manchester, it fucking might be your kid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your dad? I'm not sure. Manchester is a city full of delfs. If you don't know what that means, it's a dad I'd like to find. They're out there. <laughs> I hate it, but I have a love-hate relationship with it. I'd love to live up there again, but I was banished. Banished when I was 13 years old. I think it's because I admitted I was cold. <laughs> and that is something you can't do. So I went to America, studied at the University of Florida. I'm not cold anymore, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> studied English. Do you guys know what the drinking age is in America, by the way? Do you know what the drinking age is? 21. Didn't say that on the brochures, did it? Looking through the old prospectus, what's the drinking age? 18? <laughs> First weekend I get to America, I went to a big public university, the University of Florida. It's like American Pie, it's like 60,000 students, it's massive. The first weekend I get there, I met a guy, his name was BJ or TJ, something weird, you know, the like. <laughs> Introduced himself to me, he's like, hey, what's your name? Your name's Lou, the British guy? Do you want to fucking party? I'm like, oh, bloody hell, it's happening like in films. I'm going to be on Red Cup and everything, here we go. <laughs> later, later, come to my house, eight o'clock, we're going to fucking party. 
show up. Lou, have you played beer pong before, dude? Have you played fucking beer pong before? <laughs> I'm like, nah, dude, what, what's beer pong, BJ? Teach us rules. Get over here, dude. Okay, so you got two guys over here and two guys over there. Twelve cups. Now you gotta get your ball. You gotta get your ball in their cup. Get your ball in their cup. Balls deep. What? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of party is this, BJ? What's going on there, Phil? <laughs> what happens when I get my ball in his cup, though, mate? What happens then? Do I do I get his drink? Is that how it works? Like he's like, nah, dude. Um, they get that drink. Fucking what? <laughs> what did you just say to me, son? To be face to be eyes, to be face and eyes at the same time. Fuck that! <laughs> I'll teach you all the British drinking game. Here we go. Everyone, shut up. Sit down. No smiling. <laughs> Put away, son. I miss you, Liam. <laughs> Shut up, sit down, get your drinks. Quiet. Drink. <laughs> and if the sadness goes away, you win. <laughs> it's a fun game, you keep chasing Americans, they don't drink. Fucking all, what do you do, Captain Confident? Oh, I'll just go up there and talk to the girl. Oh, fuck off, please. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Smile at me, weird ferret. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, fuck off, I'll be outside. Never mind. Be red cup. Going to America. And pretty pretty sad time for everyone at the minute. Pretty sad time. I was up in I was up north living at my mum's house for five months, a bit like Ian. Very sad. I took the time and I, I got really into poetry again. I love poetry. Do you like poems? Do you have a favourite poem? Brilliant. <laughs> Don't worry though, I, I took a week, read them all. I've read every single poem ever written. <laughs> oh, fuck, there's fucking loads of them. Some of them don't even have pictures or nothing. <laughs> took, every, took a week, read them all. And I'm going to summarise them for you, is that all right? Yeah. Here we go, so here we go. This is every single poem. I'm allowed to touch this, I'm allowed to touch this. Every single poem ever written, summarised. <laughs> Just got to get into it, excuse me. <laughs> it's the arts in London. <laughs> <laughs> She looked, dickhead. <laughs> Please, bit of respect for the arts, okay? Every poem ever written, summarised. Here we go. Ooh, I'm a bit sad. <laughs> that's it, that's every poem ever written, summarised. It all makes sense. Do you remember the day you're in school and the teacher comes in one day and she goes, oh, good morning, children. Good morning, children. I know we've been working on our acrostics today and Absolutely fantastic, we cat sat in the mat, fantastic rhyming. But you know, children, poems, you know, they don't have to rhyme. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What are you talking about? You're a liar, Miss Seven Dan, they don't have to rhyme. What are we even doing here, Miss? What are we doing? The cat sat on the mat, and you were all lost in the world. Now I'm a grown up, I'm 27, I'm walking down the street. Is it a menu? Is it a poem? I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at! <laughs> What's next week? She's gonna come in next week, start getting letters and numbers, smashing them together, I'm calling it maths. Fuck off, miss. I'll be in the pub. <laughs> Remembers the day, remember in school when you had a pencil to a pen? That's a big day in a kid's life, isn't it? When your handwriting gets so good, you're getting all confident with a pencil. One day the teacher comes in and goes, Oh, well done, Lou. You've been... I'm projecting here. Well done, Lou. You've been doing so well. You've been doing so well with your pencil there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna give you a pen. There you go. No more mistakes! That's it! Get outside! <laughs> you can't rub out life, dickhead! You can't rub out life! <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Thank you so much for having me. Let's have a <laughs>